a mix and a mastering engineer are actually two different types of personalities. A mix engineer, as the name says, should be focusing on the mix. That means making the best possible mix balance from the audio and of course respect the artistic intent of the artist. The mastering engineer, on the other hand, has a total different approach. He is responsible for the final sound and result and also respect the artistic intent of the artists, of course. But uh, next to that, a mastering engineer is also responsible for technical compliance of the material. It should be playable and it should be playable at the best possible quality. Once the mix is done by an engineer, it is crucial that somebody else listens to the mix and preferably somebody who has never heard the mix before. And that's going to be the mastering engineer. He will translate the artistic intent into the best possible sounding experience. That can sound esoteric or very strange to you. And there's no recipe. But let me assure you, it's not voodoo and it's not dark magic. You know? It's two things, basically. It's the sound and the technical preparation of the audio, depending on uh, what it will be released on. So yes, there might be a slightly different approach for CD, uh, high-res downloads, iTunes, high-res iTunes, uh, Blu-ray, vinyl, any output format available. I happen to be uh, a guy working uh, not only in stereo and 5.1, but also in immersive sound, which is a sound format that uh, needs more speakers. Um, it gives you as a listener a very different experience. Music translates very naturally. What happens is that actually you don't longer listen to separate speakers or have the impression to listen to speakers. You actually go beyond that and start enjoying the space where the music is being produced and recorded or mixed. To actually experience the fact that you don't longer listen to certain speakers on certain positions. And that's a weird experience. As far as I've, as, as far as my experience go, the immersive sound, and in my case, Oro 3D, is the only sound format yet that is capable of doing that. To meet the demands of 3D sound, you need speakers. A lot of speakers. Sonodyne. How many speakers? That depends on the system, of course. But the minimal requirement for immersive sound is 9.1 system. The nine speakers, how are they configured? You have to imagine the stereo set, left, right. That's common. Um, the 5.1 set, you might know that as a center speaker, left, right speaker, and left and right surround speakers. There are specifications for that, technical specifications, that's ITU standard, that determines where the speaker should be, ideally. It is in a circle. To get to 3D or immersive sound, you need at least four more speakers, as I explained, to get to the 9.1, and those four extra speakers will be speakers placed high, exactly above the left, right, and the left surround and right surround speaker. So adding four speakers, another layer of speakers to uh, the sound experience. Of course, those speakers will be tilted slightly inwards, about half a meter above uh, the center of the speaker, about half a meter above uh, your listening position. So not aimed directly at you, just a little bit overhead. So that's a second layer of speakers. If you would work uh, in audio post-production or movies, then it's going to be slightly different because the 9.1 system is aimed at music. It's the minimal configuration. 
for movies, the minimal configuration would be 11.1. An 11.1, adding two extra speakers, will be one speaker central up high, as you know, you have to imagine a big screen that would have six speakers then left, center, right, and a height layer left, center, right. That's the 10th speaker. And the 11th speaker will actually be on top, I mean, physically at the ceiling, aiming towards you. That's a third layer, the top layer. That adds up to the, to the total of 11.1, so 12 speakers. I am the head of creative entertainment division, Auro 3D mastering and QC engineer. That's actually three different things. I'll explain the first one. The head of the creative entertainment division, I'm in charge of getting stuff produced in immersive sound. That could be anything. That is, of course, music. That is movies. That could be virtual reality. That could be games. Second one, an Auro 3D mastering engineer. Well, yes, I'm a mastering engineer, yes, and I do master in this uh, format, of course. The third one, QC engineer. I am the guy that has to approve and finally sign off audio that's been recorded, either in our own facilities or anywhere around the world, to be compliant to the, uh, to the system, but also I do approve sound-wise to approve the recordings when they are encoded and ready to be shipped out to the world. So releases like audio releases on Pure Audio Blu-ray, uh, movies, uh, the sound part of it. That's my responsibility. QC is quality check, quality check engineer. Sounds not quite important, but think about it. If I sign off for a movie, it's going into the world. You might have seen that I have two SRP400s in my setup over here in the studio for the stereo. That's of course my near field set. I um, know the brand Sonodyne for quite a few years and I've been testing the previous models and I was very intrigued to test this specific speaker because I know uh, the quality and the development and the effort that is put into uh, developing the kind of speakers. And I was actually very curious to see if they met my uh, personal requirements. And actually, they did. The Sonodynes are very transparent and do translate transients very accurately in the near field, which is what they are meant for but not only the high end, the low end is very controlled and you get a very nice balanced uh, stereo image, which is for me key. And actually those speakers, they match up with the bigger ones in, in my set on a very natural way. And that's for me the reason to choose for speakers. It's also a matter of taste and what works for you. So my best advice is, as I always do, to test a speaker and not to buy it off the shelf just because you like the price or the color or whatever or the tech specs. 